Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an Echo Grass Trimmer or Weed Whacker here. It runs poorly. I will start it up so you can see how poorly it runs and then I'll show you the repair solution. So it does start up pretty good. So as you see there it bogs quite a bit. I did replace the spark plug and actually what I think the problem is is a clogged up spark arrestor screen. And you've seen my other videos doing the same repair on other equipment. However, I've never done it on an actual echo trimmer here in the shop. Now what you need to do to access the spark arrestor screen on your echo trimmer is to remove the top cover here. There's a T27 torque screw right here and there is another one right there. So I'll just use my impact today. Now on this echo trimmer, I'm just going to remove the spark plug boot and now lift up the cover. And there might be some switch wires here you can remove from the cover. And what I've done is switched it over to this side so it's easier for you guys to see. Again, you need a T27 Torx screwdriver. Now when this piece is off, you'll notice that the spark arrestor screen will come off like this. And you can see that it is extremely plugged. There's no way that the machine could ever run like this. So now what I do is I put the spark arrestor screen in the vise like this. I grab my mat torch. You can also use propane. And what you want to do is heat it up red and leave it at least red for like 10-20 seconds just to burn off the carbon. So what you basically want to do is incinerate the carbon that's on there, let it cool down a bit here. And once it's cooled down, just grab a wire brush and just brush off the burnt up carbon. And now you can see that the screen is nice and clean. And I'm just going to do the same to these two pieces. And once it's cooled down, just do the same thing with the wire brush. Just brush it all off. It comes off quite easy as you can see here. And I'll just reinstall the screen. It goes here first. And now install the other parts together like this. And I'm just going to hand tighten it with a T27 Torx screwdriver. And now just reinstall the top shroud. You want to run the spark plug boot through the hole here. And now reconnect the spark plug boot. Now make sure you put the screw with the fine threads right here because it is screwing into metal on this part here. And the screw with the coarse threads will go back here because it screws into plastic. If you mismatch the screws, you will end up stripping the threads over there. 
And now just hand tighten up the screws by hand with your T27 torque screwdriver again. And just put them on fairly tight. Now I'm going to start it up again and see how she runs. So as you can see, that was the problem. It's a huge difference now, it runs like new. And this is something that can happen if you have too much oil in your fuel. The manufacturers usually recommend 50 to one. However, I mix my two cycle fuel at 45 to one, it's just a little bit more oil. But sometimes people mix it way too heavy, like 20 to one or 25 to one, and this can happen. Also, if you don't rev up your engine a lot, if you're always just letting it idle sort of when you use it, it can cause a buildup of carbon like that. And also depending on the brand of oil that you use, it can cause that issue as well. This is the oil that I recommend to all my customers, the steel two cycle engine oil. It's made by Castrol. I've never had an issue with this oil. And also cleaning the spark arrestor screen on your two cycle equipment should be part of your annual maintenance. So thanks again for watching guys, make sure to subscribe, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and have yourselves a great day.